Hey folks, Merry Christmas Eve, Hugmeister's Garage and Workshop. I uh, got this little project underway here. Uh, put in a little mini solar system over here at the garage. Hopefully it's uh, going to run our heat, our lighting, and our little refrigerator downstairs. And I'll go through what I did here. And it's more of an experiment than anything else. I put one on the bus, a system, and it worked good. So this time I went with a 24-volt system. I've got three 24-volt, 100-amp-hour batteries, all individual breakers onto a bus. Bus goes into a current meter that goes to our remote downstairs for our charge status. This is our 120-volt coming in. And our output going out, they're switched so I can turn them on or off. That's our main <coughs> breaker protecting the inverter. Disconnect switch. And that's our Vivor 3,000 2400 watt 24 volt uh, inverter. And that's our MPPT charge controller. And our photovoltaic combiner box. All from Vivor, Vevor, however they say it. Vivor Las Vegas. <laughs> Here's our panels coming in from the outside. We'll show you those. But this is an automatic all-in-one unit. I wanted to try one. It was like 232 with a coupon. So if this uh, you know ends up working out good, I'll probably just buy an extra one, keep it on the shelf for that price. But the only thing I didn't like with this is this has a PWM charge controller in it. So I swung all my panels up to a MPPT and I charge that independently. It really doesn't, you really don't lose out that much function wise because there's a lot of options in this where you can change stuff. But uh, right now it's just running on utility because I'm topping off my batteries. It's been cloudy up here. It's hard to get a sunny day up here in western New York. But uh, I'll take you downstairs show you what else we got and I'll take you outside and show you the uh, solar array we got. Okay, down here we got our heat system. That's the biggest draw over here. That draws uh, 578 watts on the high side. So I figured if I could get this to run off solar, eventually I'd get a quick payback on it. Uh, it takes, you know, it takes a while to recoup your battery and your solar panel costs. But there's our fridge. So it, ch it, ch it runs all the lights down here too, and every one of these outlets that are run off of that, they're labeled, labeled back there, and it all has a its own uh, disconnect in there. The nice thing is if this thing goes off it automatically switches to battery or if the batteries go dead it switches back to utility so that's the other nice thing about the uh, that uh, all-in-one panel up there I'll take you outside I tried mounting panels on the roof but they weren't facing the right way so this is what we ended up with and these face south I've got these about 50 degrees right now, but uh, I think it ended up looking pretty clean. You know, I didn't want a bunch of wires hanging out, but it, it looks like a pretty clean install, I think. And I found these brackets on eBay, and they're really, really nice for mounting on a wall. They pivot on the top, and they have adjustable arms on the bottom, so you can put them wherever you want. I'll probably get some more of those for some other projects. But right now, those are 200 watt, 24 volt panels and yesterday in a almost perfectly sunny sky I was getting a thousand watts in there so that's not bad considering where they're at because we're kind of in a hole right here and I don't really get the sun till it comes up there and goes across there so I'm probably gonna add two more panels because I got room and I say it's not the optimal spot to get the sun down through here so I'd rather try a few more panels first than uh, get another battery, but we'll see. Like I say, it'll take a little time to recoup the money, but 
It's also another backup source of power in case my generator goes bad. At least I can run my heating system because I ran a circuit all the way from here through my underground back to there into the house. And eventually I should be able to run the boiler and the zone valve controls in the house too. So that would give me a, that would give me a heating system in case our generator fails. But there you go, folks. Merry Christmas. Have a good day.